We often get asked, do I need spotlights and a roof light bar? And I would usually keep on going with questions. What are you doing with your car and so on and so forth? What kind of driving are you doing? It's, it's all important. It all depends on what you do. I would say if you only drive on roads, spotties mounted on your bull bar, that's, that's all you need. Because with spotties, and I'm just using the laser lamp slides here as an example because I use them on my own car, uh, these spotties from laser lamps mounted on your bull bar, you will see everything you need to see. And you also reduce the reflection of the road signs with lower mounted lights. And you reduce it even further with 5,000 Kelvin lights instead of six or six and a half thousand Kelvin lights. So these lights mounted low will give you easily four, maybe 500 meters of view. And they even give you a little bit of side view. That is another thing that is really important where sometimes we install some extra light bars on the bull bar itself to give you that little side view. So you don't just see all the way into the distance, but you also see a little bit to the side into the bushes, which can be quite handy, especially if you drive around corners. But now the big question is, why would you want a roof light bar? And that to me, and I've just recently experienced that again, while I did drive the Canning stock route, we had a section where we had to do some nighttime driving through really high spin effects grass. I turned my spotties on and I was basically blind because the reflection I got off the spin effects did not allow me to see further than five meters down the track. Turned the spotties off, I turned my roof light bar on and I got really nice view into the spin effects grass with a really wide spread. So in my opinion, if you install a roof light bar, get one that has got a really, really wide spread on it and then angle it slightly down. You don't need the distance out of it. This is more for, for slow speed stuff when you use it in combination with spotties because your spotties are the high speed stuff that beam all the way down the road. If you get 100 meters out of your light bar on the roof for the slower sections where you only do 20, 30 k's an hour, that'll be all you need. And you get this nice light penetrating into holes because the light bar usually sits a little bit higher than your line of sight from your eyes, means that the light is actually shining into potholes rather than skimming over it, which it would do with the spotlights mounted on the bull bar. One reason why you wouldn't want to use a roof light bar, turn it on, is when you do high speed driving on the road, only use the spotties because if you turn the roof light bar on, the reflection of the road signs is a lot more than what you get just from your spotties. That is about all the different scenarios how I would use the combination of a spotlight and a light bar. If I would, if I would only need to pick one, I would always pick a light bar and I would use a combination light bar. I wouldn't just use a flat light bar. If I could only pick one spot, either spotties or a light bar <laughs> and price wouldn't matter, I will put that on my roof because that will give you the distance. It will also give you the spread. The only disadvantage is road sign reflection, but you will cover all your bases when off-road as well. And that's about all the different scenarios. You will find links to these products in the video description, just in case you're interested in the products themselves. Apart from that, thank you for watching and see you for the next one.